What's up guys, Nintel Nick here, and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin. In the last episode, we went to Forest Naval, and we discovered the blue Pikmin, and we also got two ship parts out of the 30, and today we're going to be continuing exploring the Forest Naval, and um, see if we can get some more ship parts, and also maybe increase our blue counts. But, um... Yeah, this is my third time recording this. Uh, the first time, I didn't know about the boss that is in this area. And I just stumbled upon him. And basically, lost all my Pikmin. Actually, no, I lost a lot of them, but not all of them. And um, I basically just restarted it. The second time... My C stick was malfunctioning, and also, um, when I got to the boss, I beat him, but when I was bringing back the parts, both the uh, part of the boss to get more Pikmin and also, uh, the, uh, ship part, it was, um, I couldn't get him back because Wallywog just kept coming and destroying my entire. Pikmin squad and okay my C stick is malfunctioning again all right so let me show this off again all right so this is me with my controller out this is my controller in yeah I don't know what's wrong with it but who cares I'm just gonna plug it back in whenever it malfunctions Alright, so the reason I brought reds is because of these fiery blowhogs right here. They are... They shoot fire out, and... Reds are immune to that, so they basically can't even do anything to it. So I'm just gonna throw all my reds here. The only one who can get hurt is Olimar. But since we're up on a ledge right here, I can't really do anything about it. Which is probably the most annoying part about this area is the uh... the ledges it's really annoying alright and right here we got um... male shear grubs and flying shear grubs let me go destroy them okay um... no get back here so um... we're gonna go up against the boss let me first fight against uh... this wallywog here so that he doesn't um kill my Pikmin when they're bringing back stuff so these guys can be really annoying you just have to you have to throw Pikmin oh god why did I throw Pikmin under it okay, let me kill this flying shear grub right here first <sighs> okay we're gonna lose a lot of Pikmin here but hopefully we can regain them from the boss Alright, so basically you just wanna, I don't really know a good tactic for destroying these Wallywogs. You wanna have a good amount of Pikmin on it so that it won't be able to jump that high. But you also don't want that many Pikmin on it because if they fall off, it's more likely that they're gonna die. Alright, I think we're missing one. Oh, I think it went back to base with some Shear Grub. Alright, so right here is the boss. Yeah, it's a giant mushroom, but it's actually pretty hard when you don't know what you're doing. I tried so many things. I tried throwing Pikmin at them. I tried throwing them from here and letting them attack. But um, apparently you're supposed to just come in and swivel around the sea stick and then throw them up here when he's toppled. And then, wow, really? Okay, I guess it's not a hard boss. And then, um, so those are purple Pikmin right there, as you saw for a second. And, uh, that boss basically turns your Pikmin into purple and have a mushroom head on them. And, um, wait, what? what's happening? Why do I hear Pikmin attacking? 
Okay, um, but anyway. Basically, that boss turns your Pikmin into purple Pikmin, and, uh, they have mushroom heads on them, and they will attack Olimar. And they will also, your, your Pikmin will attack the purple Pikmin because they're evil, and they basically just die. You really... I don't think you can do anything about it. Once they turn purple, you really can't. They're just dead, basically. Alright, so, um... Yeah, as I was discovering, uh, how to... Uh, take on this boss, I also noticed that... The only... Other ship parts we need... Can only be obtained by yellow... Or, not yellows... By, uh, blues, and we don't really have that many blues. We only have seven or eight, and that's not really that good, so, <sighs> yeah, we can't really do anything here other than increase our Pikmin, so that's what I'm probably going to do. I'm going to go attack these, uh, fiery blowhogs with my reds. And then, um, we're gonna come back down here with some blues, when it's safe, and bring the corpses back with the blues, and hopefully get a good amount of, uh, blues from these corpses. Also, I might increase my yellows, too, because we're kind of running low on those, we only have, like, 27 or 28, somewhere around there. I mean, I could check right now, but it's not really that important. I mean, a good guesstimate is fine by me. Alright, he's almost dead. I'm just taking the long, safe way. And there we go. Okay, he's dead. And he dropped a good amount of pellets, too. Alright, so now let's go back to base... I'm gonna probably drop these reds off and bring some yellows and blues and yeah alright so let me go drop these reds off alright wow okay that actually brought a lot of reds 95 on the field okay well I have to bring a lot back if I want to get some uh, yellows and blues here. Alright, so how many are in the field now? 82? Alright, I think that's good enough. Alright, now 72. Alright, um... But wait, where's the... Wait a second. Where's the ultra stabilizer? Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> I was gonna say my Pikmin died, I was going to be pretty upset. <sighs> I mean, like, nothing could have hurt them. Unless the Wallywog from the water attacked them. Alright, so right as I walk away, the ship got the Ultra Stabilizer, and it kind of looks like a toilet seat, to be honest. And it's kind of sad, like, the giant, like, mushroom only takes 10 Pikmin to carry, but, like, the little to toilet seat takes 30, which is crazy. Alright, so we got the Omega Stabilizer. This is the Dolphin's Fin. It is a little beaten up, but it should still function. I've made great strides in repairing the Dolphin. With this, I should be able to fly again, even if I don't recover all 30 parts. I have now recovered 8 out of 30 parts. If I can get 4 more, increase the ship's capabilities okay um all right so right here i'm gonna go wait actually can i separate these guys yep okay no and of course it's red all right well that sucks i want it to be blue but of course okay no get back here i want to be blue and it's red again great Alright, you know what? You guys can go take them. Okay, um... So, let's go 
back to, uh, yeah, let's go take these fiery blow hogs and also the, uh, shear grubs here. So let's take a blue over there, blue over here, blue over here. No, I don't want yellows. Can I get the blues back again? <laughs> I want a blue right here. And why do I have to separate them? Okay, um, yellow over there, yellow over there. Yellow over here. No, what the heck? Okay. So yellow over here. No, get over there. Okay, there we go. Alright, so right now, it's kind of boring. I mean, we're just gathering some stuff. Okay, um. Go separate. Blues. One over here. Wait, where are the other- Oh god, no, no. Don't go on fire. Of course you die. Okay, great. I guess the buzz is more flammable. Alright, no. I want blues. I hate how in this game, like... No, I don't want yellows. Stop plucking the grass. I hate how in this game you can't really switch between the Pikmin. Stop plucking the grass! Oh my god. Like, dude, it's like raising children. <laughs> Alright, uh, grab the blue. No! Why? I mean, it shows a blue right. Okay, you know what? Fine. You want me to separate them? I'll separate them, okay? God. Alright, there we go. Alright, now, the yellow's gonna take this back. Okay. Wait, where are you guys going? No! You guys are so stupid. Why wouldn't you take the safer way? I wish it was, this was more like Pikmin 3. Okay, and then you guys get stuck. Okay, that's great. It's absolutely great. It's either you go and get get on fire or you get stuck. It's just great. Like seriously, I wish this was Pikmin 3 because Pikmin 3 just fix almost everything wrong with this game. All right, thank you. Now you guys aren't stuck. All right, how many? All right, so we got 25 Pikmin, uh, yellow Pikmin. But, um, we also have four that are out on the field. Or, no, four that are still in the onion. But I don't think everyone got back yet. Okay, never mind, they did. Alright, so, we have more, uh, pellets here. Which I might use. Okay, so we got some more blues here. Get some more. No, stop attacking the hole. No, seriously, blues. Are you kidding me? Like, I seriously, th th they really do have a mind of their own, but like, it shouldn't be that way. Alright. Of course it's not blue. Okay, um. Like, how do I get a direct hit on these things again? It's like that. There we go, okay. Alright, ready, go. Alright, nice. Alright, so we got two blue pellets right there. I'll probably tomorrow, I'll, um, or the next episode, I'll go, oh, okay, there's a five pellet right there. Okay, we have enough. Alright, let's get this five pellet back here. But yeah, probably in the next episode, I'm gonna go increase my blue count a lot more. Alright, I could have sworn I had five here, but now we do. Alright, hopefully they get back in time, though. Alright, I might have to get some more blues just so that it goes faster. Alright, no, guys, get back over here. How many are free? 97? Oh, wait, no, that's just because they're not near the... Um, 
That's because they're not, like, with me. Okay, um... Shoot. These guys are not gonna get it back fast enough, I don't think. Where are they? Alright, um... We have to... Go, go, go. Make it faster. Come on. Come on, we have three seconds. If only I bombed that wall. <laughs> Alright, it's too late. Okay, well, at least we got one ship part. And we beat a boss, I guess. Or maybe it's just an enemy. I don't really know. Let's see, did anyone die, though? Maybe there's like one or two that got caught on a ledge. But yeah, probably in the next episode, we'll increase our Pikmin count. We'll probably go to uh, the impact site. Where uh, there's a lot of pellets. Alright, yeah, beat that Wallywog. No one to. You got no one to eat. Alright, six days since impact. I have seen that at times the leaf atop of Pikmin's head will grow into a bud and then a flower. It appears that if I do not pick the Pikmin sprouts, they gradually bloom over time. Fascinating. This m melding of a plant. And animal traits is surely unique in the nature world. I found the increased swiftness of the flower pikmin to be of tremendous benefit. Also, my diligent observation has recorded instances in which flower pikmin lost in battle have left seeds behind. This is why on days after fierce battles, I occasionally find new sprouts growing. Okay. Um, so yeah, it looks like we increased a lot of reds, actually. Decent amount of yellows and also blues. Um, so yeah, now we have 25 blues, 53 yellows, and 63 uh, reds, which is pretty good. But um, we're actually going to increase that even further in the next episode, where we're going to go to the... Uh, impact site so we're gonna go here in the next episode because I remember there was a lot of pellets I think there were like there's one 10 pellet and I think a couple five pellets which can come in handy and we need a lot of blues to uh, lift up the ship parts in the water in uh, forest naval so yeah uh, that's gonna be it for today guys Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Pikmin right here on Town Nick. Bye.